So I did a pre-nursing for two years, did my nursing for three years. Now I'm starting another pre-medicine for another year with the hopes of getting into medical school for five years. So that will be practically 11 years of studying, which is quite long. I'm burnt out, I'm exhausted, guys. I'm like literally asking myself, why am I doing this to myself? This is the point where I just feel like I've had enough, like I'm done. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. Thank you so much for joining me once again back onto my channel. My name is Belinda and if you've not already subscribed, please don't forget to press the subscribe button as well as turn on your notification bell so you get a notification every time I upload. So guys, in today's video, I'm going to be introducing to you guys the new course that I will be starting this coming September um, once I've completed my nursing degree. And obviously, as you read from the title of this video, the course that I will be starting is the Access Course to Medicine. So guys, in this video, I just want to be discussing what is the access course to medicine, how to get onto the access course to medicine, who is eligible for applying to the access course to medicine, as well as the importance of choosing the correct college or institution that offers the access course to medicine. I'm also going to be discussing with you guys my personal experience in regards to obviously the application, mainly because I have attended a one week intensive course, which is a preparation to medicine course. Okay, that basically covered everything everything that we need to prepare in regards to what we will be covering when we will be commencing the access course to medicine so i'm also going to be talking to you guys about that so this is everything that i will be discussing in this video so if you're interested guys please keep on watching watching so first things first i do want to talk about what is the access course to medicine so first things first the access course to medicine is a level three diploma okay i have done a level three diploma before but that was the access course to nursing rather than the access course to medicine. I believe I've, I made a video about it. I'll leave it somewhere up here as well as down in the description box below. If you are interested, you can go and have a look. Okay, but in this video, I'm specifically talking about the access course to medicine. So the access course to medicine basically is a level three diploma tailored to anyone who wants to go and do dentistry or medicine. So anyone who really wants to get into medical school using an alternative route, which is obviously this route, which is the access course to medicine okay you could say it's the unconventional way of getting into medical school um, because obviously there's various routes rather of entry into medical school and this is one of the routes getting into medical school and um, this course is mainly tailored for people who don't have a levels like myself I don't have any a levels and so this course will be covering a level subjects okay so um, the access course is mainly made up of four subjects okay which is biology chemistry, physics, as well as mathematics, and obviously as well as study skills, okay? So it's a 60 credit course, okay? 45 graded, 15 ungraded. It works the same just like any other access course, if that makes any sense. So if you have done an access course before, or you have some sort of knowledge about the access course, you would know that the access course is made up of 60 credits, okay? Which is 45 of them is graded and 15 of them is ungraded. So ungraded meaning obviously getting a pass or a fail. Now, I do wanna discuss in regards to a levels depending on the college that you're applying to or institution that you're applying to to study the access course some colleges will accept you to study the access course and some colleges will not accept you to study the access course to medicine okay however getting into college is not the hard part it's getting into medical school now what I mean by this is certain medical schools need you to have completed your A-levels in the last three years. So say for instance, you've completed your A-levels last year and you're doing the access course this year and you're applying to medical school next year. Certain universities may not accept you and if they do accept you, they may be overlooking your access course to medicine results and um, looking at your A-level results, then there was no point in actually doing the access course to medicine. Okay, so you really need to do the adequate research um, prior to obviously applying to certain medical schools and um, just to see that you meet the entry requirements or not. However, I do want to say that the, doing the access course to medicine is not a replacement if you've done badly in your A-levels. Okay, so if you've done A-levels before and you've done badly, um, depending obviously once again on the college you applied to, on the medical school you're going apply to they may accept you and they may not accept you um due to obviously the access course to medicine not being a replacement um for bad a level grades if that makes any sense so i do want to say that although i've done an access course 
you know before i do want to mention that obviously it's not the same now what i mean by it's not the same the access course to medicine is a very competitive course okay now like i've mentioned before three weeks ago i went to a one week intensive course at the college that i got accepted into which i'm still going to get into okay and they explained to us that there was over 100 applications for that access course to medicine however there was only 25 of us who got chosen okay so like i said it's not the same as your normal access course because i remember when i was doing the access course to nursing there was loads of us okay sitting in the class there was about 60 of us if not more doing the course the overall course okay second point is it is very competitive because not many colleges offer the access course to medicine the access course to medicine is not offered by every college all right and obviously you can take the access course online however in this video i'm not going to be talking about online access course to medicine because i personally didn't do my research about online access course to medicine because i wasn't interested in applying to doing the online access course to medicine so in this video i'm only going to be talking specifically about applying to access course medicine colleges now what i do want to say obviously as i said i'm not going to be discussing about the access course to medicine online however if you are going to do the access course to medicine online you need to make sure that the institution is a QAA approved okay in other words it needs to be recognized by a medical school so you need to really do your adequate research and story because the last thing you want to do is take a whole access course to medicine and then it's not recognized by the medical schools okay so what I'm going to do guys I'm going to try and insert a list of various um, colleges okay that offer the access course to medicine over here so if you are interested in that um, you can go and have a look and also guys i do want to say that the list obviously that i'm including here is not an exhausted list there is more colleges that offer it however these are the colleges that i personally did my research on the style of teaching the intro requirements and universities that accept the access course to medicine from these specific colleges next guys i do want to be discussing the difference between the access course to medicine as well as the access course to applied sciences many people get confused by the two and so the access course to medicine is specifically tailored for medical school okay for you to get into medical school however the access course to applied sciences you can apply to get into medical school however you can also apply to undergo other various um, science related degrees such as biomedical sciences if that makes any sense so it can be debatable that you could say that you know what the access course to medicine and um, is a bit limited in regards to obviously applying to universities to study a degree whereas the access course to applied sciences um, is more wider or broader because it opens more doors if you want to study other related science degree subjects if that makes any sense however for me personally i chose the access course to medicine because the plan is to get into medical school because i don't want to do biomedical science because i already got my nursing degree and that's more than enough for me okay so the end goal here obviously for me personally is to get into medical school eventually now next I want to talk to you guys about how to get into the access course to medicine and I'm going to carry you guys through my personal experience on to how I got onto the access course to medicine so first things first I want to tell you guys the college that I accepted and I got accepted into and um, the college that I got accepted into is East Sussex College in Brighton Lewis so I'm going to be going there um, for nine months to be exact because they did tell us that the course is um shorter than a pregnancy term so that should be less than nine months obviously so i do want to talk to you guys about how i got onto the course so i did my application um late april i did my application and then afterwards i had to attend mandatory online introduction if that makes any sense if you attended that online intro induction not introduction induction um you would get an email um, obviously that you further in your application um, but obviously first first before the interview we had to complete certain amount of tasks science related math related biology chemistry related tasks 
as well as critical writing tasks so that they can assess the standard of level that you are on prior to obviously accepting you so we did do those well I did do that I can't speak for others but yeah overall that was one of the entry requirements now I do want to put a disclaimer out there obviously it varies from college to college that you are applying to so um, it doesn't mean because I went through this route um, you guys are gonna go through the same route obviously it varies but I just thought I should come on here and explain to you guys my experience so after completing those tasks we had to wait for feedback now if you did well in your tasks you were invited for an interview um, if you didn't do well unfortunately you didn't make it to the next round so I was later on invited for an interview where obviously they asked me all the questions which was you know why I chose the course what is the end goal with me in regards to the course that's how the interview went really and um, also on top of that guys I forgot to tell you that I had to complete a CV prior to obviously the task as well as complete a personal statement stating why I should be chosen to do the access course to medicine um, so obviously I had to do that so once again step one guys is filling out the application form online step two is attending a mandatory induction obviously to say that you are present and then you will get further email to um, complete your application form which included you to do a CV a personal statement okay then we had the full time Tasks, that's step four and then step five was the interview and then later on you would obviously be accepted or rejected either either so that's the step that I took in order to get into the access course to medicine now I do want to talk about GCSEs because first things first in order to get accepted onto the access course to medicine you will be needing GCSE English as well as GCSE maths now depending on the college that you are applying to some of them require you to have gcse science now i personally don't have any gcse science related subjects so i was very limited in regards to applying to colleges doing the access course so most colleges that offer the access course require you to have 6b um, in english and 6-b in mathematics the reason for that is because most medical schools require you to have those grades so it's like the college is preparing you to um, meet that standard of grade and um, prior to obviously going in now for me I obviously didn't do my English and maths and that in the UK I did it back home in my own country so what I did is I emailed my transcript to various um, medical schools that I feel like I want to apply to and I told them listen this is the qualification that I have and I'm going to be doing the access course along this qualification will I be able to apply to university to study medicine at your university and um, I got feedback from some of them um, I got feedback that obviously my English is not up to standard my GCSE English is not up to standard and that I needed to go back and do GCSE English now I got a five rather than a six for English um, so I will be doing the access course to medicine alongside one GCSE subject which is obviously GCSE English I don't know if some of you may know but when I did the access course to nursing um, we were allowed to do one extra GCSE subject alongside the access course so this course um, works similarly but once again like I said it depends from college to college institution to institution where you guys are going to do the access course to medicine so hopefully that one is covered so next guys i do want to be talking to you guys about um, the importance of obviously choosing the correct college or institution to do the access course to medicine so as i've mentioned before earlier it's not all colleges rather that offer the access course to medicine you really have to do your adequate research like i said i will once again insert the colleges that um, offer the access course to medicine obviously this is not an exhausted list like i've mentioned before but this is just some of the colleges that offer the course now what i mean by choosing the correct college or institution it's very important to choose the correct college okay because certain medical schools only take access courses to medicine from certain colleges if that makes any sense so for instance i am going to do the access course to medicine in east sussex college and i cannot apply to 
UCLA um, to study medicine, mainly because UCLA only accepts students who did the access course to medicine at West Anglia College, if that makes any sense. So I'm going to try and insert a screenshot of one of the information I found on the internet. Okay, this is an old list, however, it's still applicable. Okay, so certain colleges only allow you to choose certain medical schools okay now i'm going to tell you guys what i mean by this so from the list that i what i will have included in the screen you can see that if i do the access course at east sussex college okay i can get into brighton sussex medical school um i can apply at edinburgh i can apply at hull york i can apply at keel can't apply at king college can i can apply at leeds i can apply in leicester I can apply in Lancaster University. I can also apply at Manchester University. I can apply at St. Andrews and I can apply at St. George's. Um, so obviously, like I said, it depends which colleges you apply to. Hence, I say it's very important to choose the adequate college um, prior to applying um, because only certain medical schools accept certain access courses from certain colleges, if that makes any sense. Now, another point is the importance of choosing great college. If you are like me and you want to have a bit of reassurance, okay, you can choose um, colleges that already guarantee interviews to medical schools. So for instance, the college that I'm going to, which is East Sussex College, if you get onto the course, you already got a guaranteed interview at Brighton Sussex Medical School, which in a way um, is nice, easier, because it's like a weight lifted off your shoulder, just to know that, you know what, even if all the other universities don't accept me for an interview, I at least have one university that I already have a guaranteed interview at, okay? So when I did my research, one of them was East Sussex College, which obviously you are guaranteed an interview at Brighton Sussex Medical School, and the other one is GB Met, which is um, Brighton Metropolitan College, um, which also has a guaranteed interview at Brighton Sussex Medical School. That's just the research I've done. I know there's other colleges out there who offer guaranteed interviews, but obviously, like I said, it's not all colleges that offer guaranteed interviews. So I would advise anybody who wants to go and do the access course to do their research in regards to that aspect. So I have spoken already about the importance of choosing the correct college. I've spoken about the entry requirements. I've also spoken about being eligible for the access course. Um, I've also spoken about what the access course will be covering um, once I will start this um, September and um, so yeah that's all I really wanted to discuss guys in this specific video I just wanted to tell you guys reason obviously for me pursuing the access course is mainly because I want to get into medicine so I decided to take this route rather than the graduate entry route or rather than the undergraduate entry route if that makes any sense so obviously my number one choice is Brighton Sussex Medical School how it would go I don't know yet it could go either either I'm still waiting to set my entry exam which is the BMAT so I'm waiting to set that as well and um, I'm gonna obviously update you guys in regards to how everything else is going if you guys got any more questions or if you are interested in knowing more about the access course to medicine um, please keep watching because I will have further updates and videos you know um, tagging you guys along with me on my journey that's definitely what I will be doing if you've got any questions or you don't understand anything please feel free to ask me um, in order for me to obviously clarify to you guys more about the access course and um, obviously I'm very excited starting this new journey I'm actually quite exhausted to be honest I was feeling that the other time I was like oh you know I'm exhausted so I did a pre-nursing for two years did my nursing for three years now I'm starting another pre-medicine for another year with the hopes of getting into medical school for five years so that will be practically 11 years of studying which uh, is quite long it's quite long and I'm I, I'm I, I am feeling burnt out but I know that I have to push myself you know because it's what I want to achieve for myself but, yeah so guys this brings me to the end of my video I really hope this video was very useful and um, I'll leave the access course to nursing rather somewhere up here as well as down in the description box if you are interested and yes guys I hope you like this video please don't forget to comment like and subscribe and I will hopefully 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 see you guys in my next video bye